Hello, happy May. We made it to May. Here we are. Uh, I hope you're doing well when you see this video, and if you're not, I'm sending you a big, huge hug of compassion because we are all going through really big times, especially for those people that are on the journey of awareness. And when we start to be aware of our lives and we start to get in the driver's seat and take responsibility, um, it really changes things. And I want you to know that the healing journey is not necessarily easy. So I made a couple of notes today, so I stay on point. But I wanted to tell you a little story about myself and stress coping and how I'm noticing coping with stress. I have been repeating some, sh some childhood behaviors. Let me get my drink here because I'm drinking this drink. It's called Mr. Sun and it's a citrus turmeric elixir. It's got um, lemon and orange concentrate, ginger, turmeric, and a little black pepper. And it just makes me feel so good and energized and it's on tap here at Wave. So cheers. <laughs> and uh, some emotional things. I haven't posted a video in a really long time because on the outside, it may look like all of my dreams are coming true, but on the inside, what I've been going through is a lot of triggers, a lot of emotional, mental, and physical stress. And I'm human, just like you. And I like to share about those things because sometimes when we're experiencing, say we're sobering up, we're really um, not numbing out with all the things that we like to numb out. And I'll tell you more about my numbing in a minute we actually start to feel and deal with things that maybe has been there since we were a little kid. So when I was a little kid, how I dealt with stress and how I dealt with my feelings is I would eat. And this is something that I'm still challenged with as an adult in 42. And I am still watching the show of myself and my childlike behaviors of emotional, mental stress. When I get emotionally or mentally stressed, Sometimes I will go right to a substance. I'm not drinking these days by choice. I mean, I might have a drink here or there, but I just don't drink. And I am really dealing with my feelings, but guess what? Yep, I have been slightly coping with food because I'm not in a relationship or typically that relationship would help me numb out from dealing with my stuff. Um, no one's there to comfort me and tell me all those things. So I'm kind of sitting with myself and I am like you and I'm human and we have feelings. So uh, uh, eating has been something that's been coming up, like emotional eating. Another thing, I'm looking at my notes so I don't get off topic. I wanted to talk about what is a trigger. So I have been getting triggered big time in the past few months and all of these triggers what a trigger is, it's something that makes you upset. It's something that brings up something that's like an old wound, an old thing. Now it may show up as a new person in your life. It could show up as someone on the street. It could show up as a bad driver on the highway. <laughs> it could show up as a coworker. It could show up as, you know, in the family member or a new friendship. So if you're in a friendship that's new or you're having something going on with your friends or someone in your family or someone at work, a trigger is when something happens that really pushes your buttons and it's showing up in that particular person. Now, maybe the, um, the routine way to think about it would be like, that person made me angry or that person dot, dot, dot. What is happening is we're actually being given a gift of this trigger and we're giving ourselves, if you can take space, we're giving ourselves an opportunity to see our wounding, like maybe from uh, not being respected as a child, not being acknowledged mentally for your intelligence as a child, not being acknowledged for your power or the boundaries, like you need like healthy boundaries with people. So all of these things are showing up for us in our lives in coworkers, neighbors, <laughs> um, friend circles or relationships for us to be able to look at. Now my whole life before the practice of yoga, before the practice of awareness, everyone else was the problem. And then for yo the yoga practice, the yoga journey is like starting to get into the driver's seat and take responsibility for all the things. And the beautiful thing, here's the beautiful part. I know this is a lot of heavy stuff, but the beautiful thing is that we have choice. Yep, you have choice. <laughs> you have choice in how you respond. 
you have a choice to step back from the situation and assess it. And the powerful process of journaling, and just like I have here, uh, pen and paper, constantly uh, reflecting on, okay, what the hell, <laughs> what the hell just happened? And I have a good friend that I'm able to talk about these things through, that that friend is on the level that they practice awareness in their life. And sometimes you may not have that person in your life to talk it out with. You may not have a person that you can bounce things off of because sometimes in your circle, they might continue to say, well, it's their fault. You know, you shouldn't be treated like that. And mm, that's okay, however, but if you're wanting to grow and evolve through the challenging triggers that come up in your life, sometimes it's not great to bounce ideas off of people that are not doing that work themselves. So sometimes in our family, friend circles, or the circle that we currently have, you may not have that friend or con you know confident person that can help you just sit, just be with the lessons. So this is where the journaling process, when I got out of the Navy, and it took about three years to really unlearn and dive deep into all of my programming and all of my deep, deep stuff that I had just pushed down for so many years, I started to do my journaling because that was the place where I could work through it and uncover it because it was at such an intense level. I was learning things and a friend can't handle that. A friend doesn't necessarily have the capacity to handle all of our things. And yes, friends are amazing. However, remember that a friend is also still going through their process of life as well. They have their challenges and sometimes we can't just depend on our friends to always work and help us through those things. So in this time of processing and healing that you're going through, if you're choosing the path, uh, going to classes where there's a teacher that can help you and be there for you, um, going to healing sessions, going to talk therapy. There's so many different holistic therapy methods. There's um, a lot of mental health resources that uh, that are either natural or in the Western medicine system. It's really up to you like what you want to do. But this is just a really friendly video to remind you that we do have a choice. You can choose different. And the way to remember that we have a choice is to create space for yourself. Uh, for me, I have to cocoon. I have to say no appointments today. I have to say I'm unable to hang out. I can't go to the barbecue. And being with yourself is the best gift that you can give yourself. Giving yourself time and space away from others. Even if you're a mother and you need to just hire someone to watch the kids or take a break and give yourself an hour of space to do something so you can just be with your own thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to let you know that stress coping for me has always been a struggle and I've always used some sort of substance and the food thing has came up in the past couple of months. So I'm beginning, I'm beginning to continue to readdress that issue within myself. And I just wanted to share this happy May. And I hope that you don't feel alone by listening to my videos and knowing that we're all human and we may all look different. Our lives look different, but at the core of being human, we all feel same emotions. We all feel the same way, even though we might not portray it on the outside. All right, have a wonderful day, have a wonderful month, and I'll see you in the next video.